The work of New York artist Spencer Tunick is famous around the world. The photographer has brought his work to Australia three times, including in 2010, when 5,000 people posed naked on the steps of the Sydney Opera House. Thousands of participants also took part in similar installations in Melbourne in 2001 and 2018. I think I have different pockets to my work. Some works I do indoors, some works I do uh, over a thousand people. Sometimes I work in nature and often, most often in cityscapes. But I have been doing works um, with sand and by the beach and connecting you know, our body to um, global warming and also um, our longevity. And so, I think that uh, having different pockets to my work, you know, I'm able to continue uh, working with the body and not get bored. And, uh, you know, life is short, unfortunately, and we have a very small time to make an impact with your art. And so I'm, I'm in it to win it. And I consider my work to be sort of like, uh, like an Ellsworth Kelly, you know, uh, sort of like a color field painting. And so my works might not go from subject to subject, but they definitely will uh, change shape and color. Well, late next month, Spencer Tunick plans to create his latest installation at a beachside location in Sydney with the aim of drawing attention to skin cancer. Scott Maggs is chief executive and founder of Skin Check Champions, which is taking part in Tunick's latest installation. He joins me now in the studio. Scott Maggs, thanks so much for your time. Tell us a little bit more about this partnership with Spencer Tunick and why you wanted to raise awareness in this way. Uh, well, we started with a campaign called Strip Off for Skin Cancer and we just launched that last week and as part of that, um, we, it was a blue sky idea basically, it was, it was a what if, what if we could get Spencer to take part and help tap into the campaign and, and get the whole country and the world excited. Um, and thankfully I got in touch with him and we just had an incredible chat and he really connected with us and the issue. And unbelievably, he'd never done anything for skin cancer before. So it was a real amazing opportunity, um, not just for us as a charity, but for the issue globally to, to, to work with Spencer, who has such an amazing reputation. And um, we're very, very lucky. So how can individuals get involved? Well, uh, we need two and a half thousand individuals um, to represent the number of Australians that are killed by skin cancer every year. Um, when you sign up, there's a chance to do so in honour of somebody. And um, skin cancer is such a big issue in this country. I think two in three of us are likely to do battle with it. It's so indiscriminate and it really does um, do a lot of damage to so many people every single year. And um, so, yeah, we're putting a call out for everyone who's been affected by skin cancer or even if you haven't and you just want to take part, this is an incredible opportunity to to really um, be part of something really special. Um, so yeah, you can sign up on our website and um, and yeah, everyone can get involved. And why did you found Skin Check Champions? Um, I lost one of my really good friends to skin cancer. Uh, he was just 26 years old when he was killed by it. And uh, it was just absolutely horrible to see what happened to him. And um, it just, it just completely sidelined him and us and his family and um, we just don't want that happening to anyone, anyone watching. And um, Because it can be prevented. Exactly, yeah. So the big statistic that, point, that kind of struck us was that over 98% of skin cancers, if they're found early, can be successfully treated. And it's the biggest stat like that out of any other cancer. And... Um, Australia was doing, is doing really well in treatment and research and there's some incredible organisations doing that and we all grew up with slip, slop, slap and no hat, no play and prevention's a really big thing in our country but there was this massive gap in early detection so um, after meeting with all the other organisations we decided to focus on that as a charity and that's been our number one focus um, since the last 10 years. Do you know which Sydney beach is going to host this event? Uh, that'll be a secret until <laughs> the week before. Spencer always tries to, uh, just for the safety of the participants and just to make everyone, um, you know, feel 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 like they're being looked after, um, keep keep the location a secret until a week before. It also means that you can't find out unless you sign up. So um, we element of surprise. Yeah, and it adds adds to the suspense. And um, I think hopefully it'll all come together, and Lenina will 
shine on us, hopefully, and um, it will be at sunrise. And uh, the idea is, um, you know, so there won't be a UV concern. I wanted to ask about that because I wanted to ask whether it's counterintuitive at all when you're talking about skin cancer checks to be asking people to take to their be clothes off completely nude. Yeah, um, it is definitely um, a contentious um, way to go about it, but I think. Um, I, th I think if the country's mature enough to kind of understand and it's really well spelled out on our website that you know we, we, we encourage people to strip off responsibility sun safely and legally um, but the key thing is we need people to strip off to get checked and you do have to get your kid off to, to get a skin check and um, we want to use that action to um, to kind of show some skin to save some skin and we know when we're scrolling social media if, if there's a little bit of skin it does get catch your eye and it might stop you scrolling so we want to turn that moment um, into something that can save lives and um, the more Aussies that get checked with their local GP or skin cancer clinic the more lives we're going to save. And I'm guessing you're going to be providing lots of sunscreen. Yeah, so one of our key partners for this whole exercise is, um, is La roche -Posay, which is our main partner. And um, there's plenty of sunscreen on, on hand for the, for the event. And um, yeah, it'll just be a really special moment, I think, for everyone taking part and the country and the skin cancer issue. Um, imagine two, two and a half thousand people on the beach representing someone whose life was lost. Um, watching the sun come up and the first rays of light touching their skin um, and knowing that they're doing something really positive to be part of a generational change that this country desperately needs to, to really push the skin cancer issue and, and make a difference. What if you get more than two and a half thousand people sign up? Uh, well, hopefully we do. I mean, yeah, there's nothing, there's no cap, um, hopefully, the, with the council, but um, we'll see how we go. We had a Good chat to some lifeguards who um, are going to help with everything. But basically, um, the more the merrier, I think. And five and a half thousand on the stairs of the Opera House was incredible. And that was semi winter and uh, during the week. So this is a Saturday morning and uh, coming into summer. So we'll see how we go. Okay, Scott, Max, thanks so much for coming in and telling us about it. You're welcome.